Green Mom is passionate about our community and the moms who live here. And if you're looking for some great activities and ideas of things to do and plan in April, right now is going to be your ultimate resource. We are very excited to be talking to Kara, co-owner of Des Moines Mom, to learn more. So thank you so much for joining us, Kara. Tell us about some great ideas of things we can be doing in April. Yeah, April is a great month in Des Moines. Uh, it's starting to get warm again. We're starting to have more outdoor activities. Um, and so it's a really fun place to live. We have lots of different options that we have collected to uh, together for you as a resource. So if you go out onto our webpage to DesMoinesMom.com, we have a plethora of um, resources that we have put together for you. So every month we like to put together um, a resource for our uh, monthly events guide. And so April, we uh, are featuring one of our favorite events is actually, it's actually in May, but it starts in um, the end of April, which is the Johnson Kites on the Green. And so it's a really fun activity for the whole family. It allows littles to go to the Johnson Library and uh, start making their kites. It also allows for, you know, you to be able to get outside some too and enjoy uh, the outdoor events that go with Kites on the Green. Um, if you look at our April events guide, there's tons of things to do. There are um, things that would interest your kids and your family members of all um, all ages. So we have, you know, show, shows that are going on at the Des Moines Performing Arts Center. Um, but we also have, you know, fun things outdoors like the Wild Lights Festival with the zoo. Um, there's a couple of different shows that are going on at um, the event center. We, my family, my son loves to go to Monster Jam. And so we actually are putting together a giveaway. So if you check out our Facebook page, that will be going on and you can enter to win free tickets for that. Um, but also, you know, April is Easter. So we have a guide that we put together for all of the Easter egg hunts that are going on. Um, we also have um, Easter egg hunts that start really early, like as soon as this weekend. So you have you know, your choice of things to do, whether it's this weekend, next weekend, the weekend after, and all of those are really fun to be able to do with your family inside and out. Carrie, you might, you might have told us, but is there something you most look forward to in the month of April that you can do with your family? <laughs> okay, so that that's funny that you asked. So this is kind of related to April as an event, but my family even though we are not Catholic, we love fish fries. And so we put together a fish fry guide. And so it's a great resource to be able to see like all of the different churches um, and different restaurants that are doing fish fries on Fridays. Um, and you can go and you can look at, you know, what they're offering, what their times are, uh, where they're located, what their hours and all that type of thing. And so that's something that my family truly enjoys during this like time of Lent and being able to go to these different places. I am always down for a good fish fry, so I am right there with you. Okay, so you've listed off quite a few things. I know there's many more. Where can people go to see that complete calendar so they can start putting things on their list of things to do as a family? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for asking, Jackie. If you just go to DesMoinesMom.com, you will be able to go on our homepage and you will scroll a little bit. You will see our April events guide. You can also check out our fish fry guide as well as our Easter egg hunt guide. All right. And don't forget that about that monster truck giveaway as well. Kara, appreciate your time uh, today and making sure our calendars are full as we head into the month of April. Thank you so very much. Yes, thank you. All right, everybody.